learn how to convert fiat US dollars into the cryptocurrency of your choice and then how to safely transport it to your cold storage wallet. Let's do this. Hello everyone, I am Crypto Renzi and this is your channel for Apex Bitcoin and Crypto News. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to safely turn your fiat money into the crypto of your choice and then after how to transfer it to your wallet of choice. So first you're gonna to need to download the Coinbase app on your phone or iOS device. Okay, once you open up the app, this is the page you're going to see. Now, Coinbase has it set up to where you would think you would click here on the buy button on the top left, but do not do this. This is super easy and convenient, but that's what they want because let's say you wanna buy Bitcoin, you're gonna be charged the highest fee here. So you don't wanna do that. I'm here to save you money and teach you the proper way to do things. So go ahead and go back to the homepage again. Now from here, all the way down at the bottom, you wanna click on my assets. Okay, now from this page, you wanna click here on add cash. And then you have two options. You wanna click on the bottom, United States dollar. Or again, whichever fiat currency you're using. Here, you're simply gonna add the amount of money you would like to include. So here, I'm gonna just go ahead for example purposes, I'm just gonna go ahead and deposit $10 into here so I can do a live example to show you. Go ahead and click at the bottom, make sure everything looks good to confirm. Again, there is no fee here, okay? And the $10 or whichever amount you select will be available immediately. So click add cash now. Okay, and as you can see, it says your deposit is now available for trading. So now that you have your money safely in here, so you're just gonna simply do that step anytime you wanna add fiat money to be able to purchase cryptocurrency. Okay, now, very important, pay attention to this step. This is how I'm gonna save you money. So again, what we're gonna wanna do is go to trade, okay? So once your money's in, go to trade. And actually, let me let me back up so maybe you're back on the home page. I want to make sure you understand this. Remember, never click buy. One more time, do not click this button here unless you want to pay extra fees. Okay. I really want to state that. So again, from the home page, always go to my assets. Okay. Just again to add cash. But if we're ready now to purchase crypto, you want to go to trade. Now up on top here, normally it's gonna be just your simple trading view. So this is how it normally looks when you click on trade. Go to the top, click on the down arrow, and you wanna click on advanced trade, okay? So this is actually the screen where you're gonna trade cryptocurrencies. But remember, even purchasing a crypto is basically a trade. So the way this works is you wanna match your pairs. Okay, so let's say you want Bitcoin. You're going to have to learn that BTC is the abbreviation for Bitcoin. And you can see in the first line that's paired with USD, which is US dollar. So to make your life simple, if it's on the left-hand side, that's what you're looking to purchase. If it's on the right-hand side, that's the currency it's going to be paired with. So for example, if you want Ethereum, that again would be ETH, again paired with the USD. So let's go ahead and just buy Bitcoin in this example. So you click on the first one the BTC-USD. So here's a live feed showing the chart and the active price of Bitcoin in real time. You can see how quickly this bad boy moves. Now, what you're gonna wanna do here is click at the bottom left, the green button buy. Okay, now again, lean in, pay attention here. You see how you have limit, market, and stop limit. Make your life easy, just always use limit orders. Okay, market orders are gonna fill immediately, but they're not recommended unless you're just in some huge panic and you need to have your money at that individual second, which again is never wise because most of the time your limit orders are gonna fill anyway. But the problem with market orders is you're vulnerable to just slippage and just irregular fees uh, as far as when the market makers come in to time things. So I just, I wouldn't mess with the market order. And then underneath here, you're going to click on the amount. Now, you can either type it in or put the percent. So I just put in $10. So you can either put an amount, a max, total, whatever you would like. So let's just go ahead and do a total 
and then I'm just going to put $10. That's going to go up here and show you the amount of Bitcoin $10 of purchase. You're going to click preview by order. It's going to show the limit price, good till cancel. Again, only a four cent fee. If you do it the other way, there's anywhere from two, three, four dollar fees, depending on how much you're purchasing. Remember, every penny matters when you're DCA and dollar cost averaging in. And then once everything is good on the preview screen, you just hit uh, place buy order. And there you go, success. Your buy order for the Bitcoin amount has been placed. Click done. And then we want to see if we've been filled. Right here, go ahead and click on orders. Scroll down and you'll see that 100% of the Bitcoin that we tried to get was filled. So that is excellent. And then now, let's go ahead and transfer this $10 of Bitcoin to our cold storage wallet. Top here, you're going to hit send. Select what you're sending. We have Bitcoin. Now, I already copied and pasted my address from my Ledger Live wallet. Okay, so do not paste. I just want to show you this step. So whichever wallet you decided to purchase and set up, and I'm going to make video tutorials on all the other wallets. Those are coming soon, so stay tuned. The Ledger, Nano X, as well as the Tracer Model T. Those are coming soon. So um, what you're going to do is from your wallet, remember, whatever coin you've added, it's also going to give you a wallet address. And that's what you're going to put in here. So I'm going to copy and paste my address for one of my wallets. And then I'm going to click continue. And then you put whichever amount you want to send. So I'm just going to go hit max. And then you're sending 891 because the price of Bitcoin's moving right now. It's dropped a little bit. And right now the network fee is a dollar 3. Again, I normally wouldn't send this small of an amount of Bitcoin, but I'm just showing you how it works to do an example for you real time. Okay? And then you're going to click send now. Now you have to have your two-factor authentication set up. That's what's going to happen here. It's going to ask for that. And once that's done, you will get a confirmation screen that successfully sent your money. And congratulations, you are done. Well, hopefully you've gained value from this video. If so, please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.